This is how all paddles should come. This is incredible. Let's try and open this real quick. Look at this. Look at this. This is how every paddle should come for whatever it was with the discount code. I think like 160-ish. This is how you send a paddle to someone properly. Look, it even has the millimeter on the side of the box. Look at that. This is how you properly do it. Look, I've got a carbon eraser right here. All right. Wow, that's a big, big line through it. Oh, you know what? I think it's two carbon erasers, technically. It could be. Okay. We've got what looks like an undergrip to me. Got the uh, extra grip band. Cool. Got some stuff about the box contents. Got this Volaire card. And we have the paddle. Hello everyone, today we will be reviewing the Volare Mach 2 Forza. First off, shout out to Volare, um, they did send us this, they originally were just going to send us the 14mm, but the 14mm has been so popular that it was back ordered, so they made a deal with us and i was going to get the paddle regardless of reviewing it or not so i got a 16 millimeter and they were so kind as to sending the 14 millimeter later in the month um i'm really excited to try both um this is something i have been chatting about if you've been around me recently it is the coming of wide body paddles and the popularity of them um, so I'm really excited to do this review. All right, let's do it, guys. Okay, so here we are, the Valere Mach 2 Forza. First impressions, as I just said before, I only have the 16 millimeter right now. It's super spinny. Like, I did not expect it to be as spinny as it is, but it feels just as spinny, if not spinnier, than any paddle I've hit to date thus far. Um, the 5.5 five handle feels great. This is probably one of the only paddles that I feel, in terms of the handle, I don't need to replace the undergrip. Blair actually does a really nice job about getting a good factory undergrip on there, rather than some of the cheap ones from these other companies that, you know, you can feel like the plushiness or the exposed polymer or whatever. None of that scenario here. Um, you know, I really like how Valaire packaged it. I will add that into this as well. Um, the overall packaging and unboxing experience of this paddle was pretty great. Um, but yeah, so a little bit on how it plays. Like I mentioned, very spinny. 10 out of 10 for spin for sure to date um, from me. The power, it is a wide body paddle, so it's a it's a sweet spot and somewhat control-based paddle. So the power, I did end up adding lead tape to the top of the paddle. Did about six to seven-ish inches of one gram lead tape on the top. And that helped bring the power to where I like it personally. Um, honestly, I don't usually put lead on the top of many paddles, but I just figured with the shape, I think that's where the 14 millimeters pop would help more for the paddle. But other than that, I, I feel like it plays great. The sensation and feeling that you get when you hit with this paddle is like nothing I've ever felt. A shot that I am not as comfortable as I'd like to be with, and I'm working on it a lot, the two-handed roll dink and rolls when at the kitchen line. Not so much from the baseline and the transition line, but mainly the kitchen line. This is the first paddle where I feel confident to do that and the ball is not going to sail high or fly long or, or sorry, fly wide. 
Um, it, it dips back in, and I really like that about it. His paddle is a all around player to soft, soft game player's dream. I've never felt dinking and dropping as nice as I have with this paddle. This paddle, I literally sit in the transition zone, basically in a squat, and I can reset for days. It's incredible. I even, um, in some of the footage you'll see here, there's a couple balls just driven right at me. We're playing predominantly cross court, and I just one hand reset that puppy right back in front of her, and there's nothing she can do about it other than just continue to play the point. So it's really cool if you haven't felt that sensation, especially from a non like 20 millimeter paddle from a 16 or a 14 millimeter paddle. That's pretty cool. Um, so more about the shape. Um, some of the stuff that I heard going to wide body is, oh, well, you know, it's not elongated. It's not going to hit as hard. They're going to miss the extra, you know, whatever, half an inch. Honestly, I noticed that a lot with the hybrid paddles. I've not once noticed that with this paddle. In fact, I actually have enjoyed this so paddle so much that it has become my primary go-to paddle for tournaments and events and match play. Um, I completely switched to it. I was playing the YSF 16 millimeter by 11624 prior to this. And prior to that, the Vatic Prism V7. Both are elongated power paddles. I switched to this no problem. Haven't even felt the length difference. Haven't felt the shape difference a ton. I will admit when I leave this and go back to a power elongated paddle, it can be difficult for me to keep the ball in just from, I think, un subconsciously or unconsciously, just putting a little more effort into the ball from this one. But overall, have really enjoyed the paddle. Have really enjoyed just everything about it. The power, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. The durability so far seems like a 9 out of 10. Haven't had any issues. Um, I will say it does, because of how gritty it is, it does amass a lot of ball dust. So you will need that carbon eraser that they send you with the paddle when you get it, for sure. Um, and then just for overall performance, like it's it's up there with the top paddles right now, for sure. I think this is one of, if not the top line of wide body paddles right now. I know the Yola Scorpius is what it is. And the uh, Reuben Moven 13 and 16S, those are definitely competitors to it. But feels great, plays great, has a classic look to it. What is there not to love, you know? All right, guys. Well, that is my review of the Valer Mach 2 Forza. We did this one a little different. I know normally there's a little video of me chatting, but I wanted you guys to see the paddle more in action. You know, flash some shots of the paddle with you and mix it up. Let us know in the comments what you think. Do you enjoy this? Would you rather see me talking with some gameplay? Or would you rather a different style of review? We are open to suggestions here at D-Dog Pickleball, so let us know. All right. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you.